These are Royal Air Force and Royal Navy helicopters. Aircraft like these have been used in the past to evacuate wounded troops in war zones. Now, they're teaming up with the NHS as flying ambulances on the coronavirus front line. It's a new mission that may need a new approach. If we've got a patient who is uh, suffering any sort of respiratory distress, then obviously we'll be advised by the medical team. But for instance, we may not climb to altitude in order to make sure that the, the oxygen levels uh, stay, stay stable for the patient. Uh, and also we'll take advice from the medical team on the speed that they want to arrive at the next facility uh, or whether smoothness of flying is a, is a high priority, depending on the amount of care that they're providing to the patient at the time. The military and the medics are learning how to work together. Yeah, feel free to come in and have a look around. Yeah. This training session on Thursday was with an ambulance team in Hampshire. Stand by, ready, steady. But they're also learning on the job as the need for the support is now. The Aviation Task Force is one of an unprecedented range of jobs being carried out by the military in this crisis. Some 23,000 service personnel are earmarked for the COVID support force, including around 3,000 who are already deployed. More than 12 military helicopters are on standby to help. And over 2,300 defence vehicles are set to be used as ambulances and to deliver supplies. As of now, the armed forces are responding to 85 requests for help from civilian authorities, including in the construction of hospitals and of testing centres. <laughs> Despite their contribution, permission like this to film the military has so far been rare. Rarer still is the chance to speak to those in charge. This clip of the officer commanding the mission was posted by the Ministry of Defence. I'm not pretending we're just taking this in our stride because this is quite exceptional. But the three services have now turned to to deliver everything that the government wants. As the COVID crisis grows, so too will the military support. Air crews like these know this is just the start of what's set to be a lengthy operation. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.